Wake up and smell the coffee, Mr. LaRusso. Extreme situations require extreme measures. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Cobra Kai Karate. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about the new 2024 Karate Kid film that'll start Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. I know. It's a stupid idea. And um, I already did make a video about this when the news just hit on Tuesday. But we got a lot more news recently. When I first made that video, that was more of my instant reaction. That was me just me, me being shocked. I had like no, I was just completely shocked. I didn't even know what to think. But now we have a lot of news about this. And I'm going to be discussing it and saying why this is a dumb. The first thing I want to show here is some news we got. that I, we're looking at some, I was looking at some articles at. And this is what we saw. So let me pull up the first thing we have here. And we'll get right into it. So the first thing we have here is this article and it says Sony is eyeing a release date of December 13th, 2024 for plan in place to start shooting in the spring. Now, now the main, the, we'll get to our first problem with this. First problem is January 2nd or January 3rd, January 5th. Somewhere in the first week of January, they're going to start filming season six. Now, if you look at the calendar, everything, season six should come out around November, December. This will be coming out at the exact same time as season six. Now, and it'll also start filming in, in spring. They'll be on their filming season six of Cobra Kai. Now, why is that such a big deal? Because that is going to highly affect the promotion. Highly. Because both promotions are held by Sony. And there should not be a race or competition. And I don't want nothing taking away the heat of season six. This is the final season of Cobra Kai. And we have this freaking cash grab bullcrap by Sony. Blood sucking rat picking bones off iconic stories that they are. Trying to cash in on the hype of Cobra Kai. Directly aiming it at the exact same time that season six will be coming out. So they can cash in the hype. This is why I hate Sony. This is why I generally hate Sony. And... Listen, I always knew Sony would try to go down this route of trying to make absurd stories and trying to, like, do some multiverse of Karate Kid, which is so stupid because Karate Kid should be a simple story. I knew Sony would do that. But the thing is, I never, ever knew that one of the actors would cash into that or add into that. And this goes into one of our problems we're going to a little bit of why Ralph Macchio agreed to this. First, we need to see a tackle on and talk more about how stupid this idea really is. If you truly think about it, there's a couple fans out there that think this is an awesome idea. I thought someone said, "Oh, it makes sense because because you know, um, in Karate Kid, it said uh, Karate Kid Two, it says that the that the style came from China." Yeah, but they're not. Mr. Han did not do karate; he did freaking kung fu. So what are you yapping about? Like, I don't know why everyone's saying, "Well, they said the karate came from China." Yes, but he did freaking kung fu. All right, I don't know if you guys remember, but the the, the Karate Kid in 2010 wasn't in karate; it was kung fu. All right. Second thing, this is not the exact same universe. All right. It makes no sense. For that. It's a reboot. That's literally a reboot is is recapturing the story. Now, tell me why it makes sense for the exact same story to happen two times in different universe in the exact same universe. Like it, you guys don't understand the Karate Kid reboot literally copies the Karate Kid 1984, like almost scene by scene. The only difference is that it's Kung Fu and then like the guy and it's like in China. That's it. That's truly it. Like, so you're telling me that the exact same thing happened to the, end of the and to the exact same thing happened to Dre Parker? Oh, that makes perfect sense there. Um, and also, we don't know if this is canon to Cobra Kai. If it is canon to Cobra Kai, that is really bad. As a huge Cobra Kai fan, that means Sony can do whatever they want to Cobra Kai. They can mess with the story, they can mess with anything, and they can do whatever they want as long as it gets more people in the theater for them. And just so you guys know, the big three, the creators, Josh Austin Hayden, who created Cobra Kai and wrote Cobra Kai, they have nothing to do with this. Matter in fact, they said themselves that Jackie Chan and, and Mr. Han is not involved in the story because they actually have a brain cell and they don't care about the Cobra Kai fans. They don't care about trying to get people in the theaters, trying to hype everyone up. They said, no, this is a simple story. We're not going to mess it up. We're not going to do like some timelines, multiverse, merging characters. We're not going to do any of that bull crap. We're going to focus on a real Heart story, and that's why it's successful, and that's why I have a whole channel based off it. And now it's trying to get, get attacked by freaking Sony, which ticks me off. Now, going to our next thing who is going to be directing this 
who is going to be a part of this, all that stuff. I'm going to show you guys that here right, right now. Let me share my screen. So, on IMBD, we look up this um, Karate Kid thing. Here it is. Karate Kid. Plot under wraps. The director is Jonathan Ingersoll. And the writer is Rob, whoever that guy is. Rob Liber, whatever. Now, the writer... Is the exact same person who, who written Peter Rabbit. That's this is no, this is his work. He wrote in Peter Rabbit. Now I'm not trying to insult Peter Rabbit or something, but this guy's supposed to write the Karate Kid, and the only movies he's made is, you know, children movies. So I don't trust this guy writing Ralph Macchio and the Karate Kid. Also, the director, this guy. Now hold on. I know you should not judge a book by its cover. I understand that, but are we really going to trust this guy with the Karate Kid story in his hands? Like, I don't look too bright either, but come on. Now, just be honest. Do you trust this guy? Because I don't. Now, I don't know what this guy even directed. Um, Looking into it, he's directed, uh, let me see here. A couple like comedy shows. That's, that's all I really see. So I not trust this guy. I don't really trust anyone directing anything Karate Kid related if it's not the big three because they've carried it on so well. They haven't done what a lot of other people do, like in Star Wars, where they just cash grab everything. So this is just a terrible idea. Not only does it mess up with the filming, it'll not mess up with the promotion. It'll just be a bad idea. Even though this came out like a year after Cobra Kai, it's a terrible idea. It's gonna have a negative view on Cobra Kai. Here's another little thing I think I thought about. If this movie is really good, let's say, it, or even if it's not good, just a lot of people like it, that's going to take away so much from season six. Like, do you know much? Like, people, if they watch that and, and only really, and no, everyone's just talking about this, then no one's even going to really care about Cobra Kai season six coming out. At least the, you know, general fans. Now, like, diehards like me who's up really late talking about this. Um, and also, if. If it does really bad, like which it probably will, because you're merging two characters that are not exactly in the universe and it's clearly a cash grab. And by the way, they don't even have an actor yet. They don't have it. By the way, they're a new karate guy, by the way. And for, like, we don't know if he's going to do Kung Fu or karate. Um, probably going to be Kung Fu again because freaking Sony. Um, and by the way, they still don't have an actor. It's supposed to be released in less, in like a year. So what the hell? And by the way, they said the actor doesn't need any acting experiences. So this is going to be bloody hell and bad to watch. Um, and if this, so if this does go bad, that's going to have a negative look on Cobra Kai and just going to be bad for the franchise. I don't want a reboot. Cobra Kai should be a simple story. We don't need timelines. And if it is canon, then that's even more worse because that means I can mess up Cobra Kai, which we know they probably will. And now here comes my main thing. I know Sony would do something like this. They're blood-sucking rats. They all deserve to stub their toe every morning. But the main thing is, I never thought one of the actors would peg into that. That's why I never worried me. I know Sony would always try to sink their teeth in and just try to cash in on the money. But I never knew the actors would go do that with them. And now Rath Macchio's doing it. Now I'm not trying to make any, and this is all speculation, but just the way it looks, not saying it is, it almost looks like Ralph sold out. That's just the way it looks. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to try to, you know, sugarcoat it. And I'm not, I'm also not trying to say that what it is. But that is exactly what it looks like. Because Ralph himself said in 2010 that that 2010 reboot was not a good idea and it was stupid and it was just a terrible idea. He also was not a fan of them having Kung Fu. Now him himself is playing, is having his character with the exact same character of Mr. Han in the reboot with a more stupid story. That means they're going to be in the exact same universe, which makes no sense because it contradicts so much things that happen in Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. And... It's not only that, it's, only, it's gonna affect season six, it's gonna affect promotion. Cobra Kai, the show that brought your character to life and brought so much fans excitement. And he's always talking about how it's good to cherish and not let your characters get like messed up by people trying to carry it on the wrong way. But that's what it looks like you're doing, because there's no way he's that dumb to think this is a good idea. And if he does think this is a good idea, well then he must be contradicting himself thirteen years ago when he said it was a, when he said the reboot was a bad idea. So it makes no sense. So from what I, the only thing I can think of, I don't think Ralph saw the script and like had his mind blown and this is the best idea ever. Because I don't think Ralph was that stupid and I, I could use evidence from the past on why he would not think that. What I think happened 
And Sony came him a big, big check. And he was like, why not? And I don't think that's Ralph's character, but until I get further evidence of what else it could be, or someone else could tell me what else it could be, then I'm not changing my mind. That's what I, that's the only rational conclusion I can come to. Because there's no way Ralph thinks it's a good idea. Because having two characters from different universe merge together like a multiverse and Karate Kid is so stupid. And I think he has to know that. And the matter of fact, it's going to mess with season six filming and promotion is just so bad. So I hate this idea. I hope it gets canceled. And Ralph, he has a lot of explanation to do. And I am ticked off about this. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Always remember, extreme to our extreme measures. See you guys next time. And frick Sony. Peace out.